Did I just vanish? Am I back? How long was I gone? It's never done that before. Two seconds? Okay, weird. All right. As long as I'm back now, I guess. How strange. All right, Boaz, you're gonna be useless with just bulldoze, so we're gonna swap you out. Say Ronan was level 53. We're gonna get Ronan up to level 55 and then we'll rotate. Probably give the, um, whatchamacallit to, uh, what's her name? Howdy nerds, what's up Perry? How we doing? We've unboxed a Manga Spice Cafe today, Perry. It's a good one. I did spill um, melon and cream soda everywhere. And that was unfortunate. Brief pop in before work. Talk on. Glad you're here. Glad to have you for the brief time we have you. We're just grinding because we can't beat Getsus. He too strong. Way too strong for our paltry little team. That's all right. We're grinding. We'll win soon. <clears throat> I would have kept trying, but I've, I've run out of money. I've run out of poker coins. So I can't afford any more revives and hyper potions. I like that the emojis that you used were um, in Japanese, reading from uh, right to left. Pig sneaky, pig shush. Oh yeah, totally, totally intentional, definitely intentional. Very much what you were going for, right? So Barry, since our, more, uh, since our meeting this morning, I've since read the chapter of the Creative Curve book. That was the first one that I was gonna read today. And I remembered that it was not actually, well, I mean, it was, it was what I told you about. The real like argument that the author's making in this book is uh, kind of surmised in the way that Yesterday by the Beatles was created. Everybody knows the story of that the Beatles, Paul McCartney, sat down and had, a, or no, he was sleeping, had a dream. He dreamed up the... The Yesterday chords. He like dreamed them up in a dream. And so that's the story that everybody remembers. He dreamed them up, he wrote down the chords, the next morning, yesterday was written. That's not actually how it happened. He was like, the, the argument that this author is making is that that's how everybody tells the story, but the truth of the story is that he came up with, or he dreamed of the chords and thought it was from another song, maybe like a jazz single that he had heard his dad play growing up. And so he took it to all the other Beatles and he was like, do you know this song? Like, how does this, or actually went, hey, do you know how this song goes? Hey, does anybody know this song? And he took it to all his friends and everybody was like, no, we don't know how that song goes. And then he meticulously for the next two years crafted this song uh, and irritated everyone else because he was playing it nonstop on every tour, during movie shootings, all this stuff. He kept working on the song, trying to come up with the perfect lyrics, every miracle about it, every little thing about it. And, um, and then after two years, finally came up with the actual lyrics of Yesterday. Um, and so the argument that the author is making is that creativity is not an inspirational single moment, but even if something strikes an inspiration, it still takes time to chisel it out. And so what he presents is a way to visualize and quantize, quantifies, if you will, the process by which you chisel out an inspirational idea. So now you know the, the, the premise of the book. 
and he calls it the creative curve. How do you shorten the creative curve of creating something from inspiration to idealization? Ideation, ideation's better. Yes, the original iteration of yesterday was actually called scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. And it was scrambled eggs for two years until I came up with the right lyrics. Learn new things every day. There you go. Now you know. There you go. The more you know. Yeah. Twins. Hashtag twins. You know, for an actual legendary dragon, Zero Chill is kind of, uh, kind of just all right. Kind of just all right. Except for mushrooms and saffron. Hey, you know, the so the, the medicine that I'm taking that has saffron in it, I'm actually starting to get used to it. I still don't know if I would go so far as to say I like it, but I'm definitely tolerating it. I, do, I will not tolerate mushrooms. I refuse. You'd be, you would have an equal amount of luck telling me to go out and eat some dirt. Go eat dirt. But I'm very adventurous other than that. I was more adventurous than uh, my wife, who is, I would consider, has a much wider palate. Logan really doesn't have anything that she won't eat until it's something real weird. Once it's something very weird, then she won't eat it. Like, if there's like a dessert plate and it has like a marigold or some like edible flower on it, she's like, I don't wanna eat a flower. And I'll eat the flower, what the heck, why not? I'll try a flower. I'll try anything once. I can't think of anything that I won't try. But once I've eaten it and I know that I don't like it, I don't like it. Zucchini flowers? Are those flower? Are those uh, uh, flowers in the... Sh <laughs> no, definitely not that one. Is that zucchini in the shape of a flower? Or is there a flower called the zucchini flower? Or are you talking about literally the flowers of a zucchini plant? Whoa! I didn't know that. I've never tried those. Do they taste like zucchini? The marigold I thought tasted like uh, honeysuckle. Is honeysuckle like a national world? Does everybody know what a honeysuckle is? Is that like a thing? There's a whole thing of filling them with cheese, battering and deep frying them. They're amazing. Now I know people do that with like dandelions. Okay, you do know what a honeysuckle is. Now I'm very curious. Does everybody know what a honeysuckle is? Is that like, is that a synonymous thing that all of us just, all of us know about honeysuckles and eating honeysuckles as children? Definitely not, like, not the, not the smartest thing that I've ever done in my life. Because those were definitely covered in like pesticides and a brand of turkey. Absolutely. The honeysuckle turkey, you know. Noelle's eating dandelions now. She found out from Nature Preschool that they're edible. They are indeed edible. I don't know if they're as good raw as they would be in like a nice tea. They're okay. I would prefer them cooked and seasoned or put into a tea, one or the other. You can eat them straight. And it's definitely, it makes you look like the coolest kid around. That would be a good way to like, take a good bet. Like, I bet you won't eat a dandelion. I will. Good way to good way to, to pull a long con. Oh, I didn't realize I was asleep. Oh, I went to sleep. Oh man, oh man. Let's go heal up. Oh, never mind. We got another fight. And after this one, we're going to heal up.
And then I think we're gonna give the experience share to Bryce Cream. And then we're gonna do another grind sesh, and then we're gonna go fight Getsis. Cool? Cool. Hope that's okay, because that's what's happening. Do I have like a fire or anything? Charcoal? No such luck. Um. Work for work. See ya, Barry. I don't really have anything for him. Uh, let's do the lucky egg. Her, excuse me. Oh, bye bye, camera. We'll give it a three minute rest. Okay, Google, set a three minute timer. I don't know why this camera's been doing that so bad. Where's the lens? I know I had a scope there. Is. Nope. Ah, uh, what did I just do? Did I say no? Okay. The grind. Grind continues. Whoopsie. What a great start. Whoopsie. <laughs> Clicked right through it. Honestly, wouldn't have been surprised even a little bit if I would have been too weak to even kill it with a flame burst 20 levels above it. Actual 20 levels above Rufflet, and I wouldn't have been surprised. I wish you could find more throw, because man, throw, they do so much experience. Look at all that experience. 537, that's wild. I think if we can get Bryce Cream up to level 50, we'll we'll call it, and then we'll uh, we'll go take on Getsis again. Man. Don't nothing affect any of these baddies. Whoa, Audino gives so much. I didn't know that. They must know that I'm grinding because they're giving me so many good grinders. Love it. Please keep them coming. Getting Cascada vibes out of this one. Heavy Cascada vibes. Oh, there we go. Camera time. 
I'll try not to forget to turn off the camera in between sessions this time. Don't know why that camera gets so hot. I don't feel like I'm pulling that intense of FPS, but maybe I am. Speaking of FPS, is anybody playing Jedi Survivor? Have you heard how awful it apparently runs? Apparently the day one patch did like nothing. Very curious if anybody's playing it on anything other than PS5 and having a good time. And all I'm saying, all I'm saying is that Cyberpunk didn't run well on everything but PS5 and PC and everybody just, or no, I mean, yeah, I guess it didn't run well on PS5 because that wasn't out yet. But nevertheless, it was running awful on everything and people were like, oh, oh I'm, I'm so mad about this. We're going to take it off the PlayStation Store. And, oh, Jedi Survivor. Jedi Survivor has some frame rate issues and nobody cares. Ah. No hissy fit. Although I do, I mean, I understand that games take a lot to make and whatever. But man, it just frustrates me. Star Wars can do no wrong. That's not true. Star Wars fans get so mad. But for some reason, certain video games get a pass just because they're certain video games. I think once you have like, well, no, I can't even say you have a history because uh, uh, Witcher, although Witcher was bad at the start too. Oh, wait, it didn't affect. I'm in a bad spot. Oh, I'm level 55. Oh, let's change. I just want people to like Cyberpunk. And I feel like Cyberpunk redeemed itself quite a bit with, uh, whatchamacallit, with the anime. And so I think people are probably, they're probably cool on, on Cyberpunk now. But I always loved it. I want everybody to love it as I love it. But yeah, I I was I was shocked because I was going to look into adding it to my wish list um, on Steam, and I saw it had like mixed reviews, and I was like, what? It's like Jedi Survivor has mixed reviews, and so I clicked on it, and sure enough, that was what everybody was saying. They were like, this game is amazing. If only I could get past the waiting screen. If only I could get past the loading screen. But I also heard there's a patch right around the corner. So hopefully we have a change coming around the corner. Haven't decided if we'll play it here on stream. Probably won't. But may. I will definitely play it. But in all honesty, I never finished the first one. And so I'm kind of like trying to decide if I want to actually go back and play the first one all the way through again, or if I want to watch somebody else play it on YouTube and then pick up the second one for myself. That's more than likely what I'm going to do because the first game was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun, but I got a little burnt out. Got a little burnt out on it. I'm just no, I'm no good at hacking. No, it's not even a hack and slash, is it? Is it a hack and slash? Would you consider it that? Or is it like a true Souls like? Or is it an action or, or ARPG? I don't know what you would define it as, but whatever that game genre is defined as, I have a serious breaking point where I like, I'm like, all right, <laughs> I've hit X enough in a row, um, and I just get tired of it. Oh, cool. Is this another spot where I hit X a bunch in a row? Very fun. Although right now I'm spamming the A button as hard as I can going through this Pokemon game, so I guess I have no room to talk. But I talk anyway because that's what I do for three hours on Mondays and Tuesdays and Thursdays. Look, if I gotta talk for nine hours a week, then you better believe I'm gonna start saying the same things over and over again. Or saying things that are ridiculous. That's the shtick at this point. We played the full game for Fallen Order before Survivor. I was feeling it by the end of the game. 
I've only been able to play an hour into Survivor so far, hoping I'll be able to do more this weekend. I'm hearing great things, and honestly, that's why I'm more inclined to just watch the first one and then play the second one, is because uh, everybody says the second one is an improvement in every way. So I'm kind of like, well, perfect. Then I don't want to go play the worst one, you know? I don't want to go play through all 80 hours of the worst one and then start the good one. Whenever I can get the story in another way, you know? We shall see. I also just have so many other games backed up. And next Friday is Tears of the Kingdom. What am I going to do? I mean, obviously I'm going to play Zelda. And so I'm not going to make any headway into Survivor by the time I get to Zelda. Zelda's definitely going to be the game game of the month. I have never tried just watching someone play a game for the story. I need I have this innate need to play myself. Uh, I mean, you are watching someone play a game right now. But is that just because it's me? Because I'm honored. I, I have I have a mixed bag on that. There are certain games that I can't watch people play, but there are a lot of games that it's just easier. There are a lot of games that I just have no interest in playing, if I'm being honest. I think that's what it comes down to. I've already played Pokemon by like 13 years ago. That's certainly fair. So you mean you've never watched someone playing a game instead of playing a game? I will definitely watch the new Zelda for the story because I have no interest in playing. That blows my mind. I can't even understand what you mean, Sneaky. My brain doesn't even work that way. When you play something I haven't played but want to, I barely pay attention or just lurk. Got you, got you, got you. I can't imagine not wanting to play a Zelda game. Tell me more about that, Sneaky. Is it the lack of dungeons? Is it the breakable weapons? What does it for you? What, what breaks the camel's back? Because I, I don't think Breath of the Wild is the greatest game, the greatest thing to ever happen in all of history, but I do think it's an incredibly fun game. I think it is overrated, but I, that doesn't mean I don't think it's a 10 out of 10. I think some people act like it's a 20 out of 10 when it isn't. Because it doesn't exist. And because it isn't. Couldn't get into the Breath of the Wild at all, so I'm checked out on new Zelda games. Fascinating. But you can't summarize it into one, like, one of the breaking points, because those are probably the most popular ones. I would say people that didn't like Breath of the Wild, didn't like the dungeons, didn't like the breakable weapons, didn't like the stamina wheel, although that was also the case in uh, whatchamacallit. Friendly reminder to everyone that we're officially one month away from Street Fighter VI and a new Foo Fighters album. Didn't you uh, post a single recently off the new Foo Fighters album? It was pretty, pretty good. A complaint that I would have had with Breath of the Wild, probably the thing that I disliked the most. Hmm. Didn't post a single, but definitely told people about it. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I can't really think of anything. I didn't enjoy the Korok stuff, but I enjoyed the process of building up my stamina wheel and building up my health and building up my strength and all that sort of stuff. I definitely did enjoy that. I feel like you're able to get the Master Sword early enough so you didn't have to really worry about the breakable weapons. I didn't really like the cooking. The cooking was okay. Really liked the story. I think Breath of the Wild is one of my favorite Zelda stories. I like the way it's told. I like how like the slow like trodgingness of it. The way it kind of uh, happens in layers as you meet more people. There was a story in Breath of the Wild? Absolutely. And my favorite part of the story in Breath of the Wild was the um, the way you would unlock their power-ups with each one. I loved their power-ups. I don't remember any of the names. <laughs> but the one that restored you to full health whenever you died, the one that shot you directly up into the air, I loved those power-ups. Those were so much fun. I would say Breath of the Wild was an exceptional story.
My least favorite part of Breath of the Wild is probably the Breath of the Wild uh, diehards. People, as I said, that claim it was like a 20 out of 10. It's not a perfect game, but it's a really good game. There are certainly games that just aren't for some people. And I respect that. For instance, the Souls games just aren't for me. I would love to love the Souls games. I want to. There's, they seem so good. Team Four Star Android shirt today. Pretty excited. I saw a uh, Demon Slayer uh, abridged the other day and immediately thought of um, Team Four Star. crazy how long ago that was. And the fact that they still, you know, exist in some capacity. This abridged society of, of YouTube poops. Kept my finger on one thing, it just didn't grab me and pull me in. I think the story was too slow for me, it didn't push me to keep moving. May have spent too much time exploring all the things and got worn out, and then that could easily happen. Yeah, the, the fatigue of an open world is daunting. Oh boy. That's typically my problem with most open worlds. Honestly, I think, like, other than the personal subjective, like, it doesn't work, or the lack of dungeons, I think that Unbreakable Weapons is a bit of a silly reason not to work. But everybody gets their own choice. They get to feel that way. You're allowed. I give you permission. You're welcome. But I never got that argument. Or the stamina wheel argument. I just never understood. It's like saying, stop being such a video game. I just want to play a game that's not a game. Like, it's going to have gaming elements. That's just what makes a game a game. You don't like the game, that's fine. Breakable weapons drove me crazy at first, but then I came to enjoy the strategy behind it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to at the first. At the beginning, I think you're supposed to be annoyed. But then, like, pretty quickly, I think it really has to do with, like, your willingness to be brave. Like, if you're willing to storm a camp of moblins or whatever, then you're gonna get plenty of weapons. And it got to the point that I would throw away weapons pretty regularly. Or choose not to pick up weapons pretty regularly. So I think that's what it came down to for me, was just, like... If you were somebody that was that like never found a place to tolerate the breakable weapons, then you never tried hard enough to like get good. Ah! I finally get to say that! I finally get to say that to a gamer! Ha ha! At last! At last I get to say get good. <laughs> finally! It's been it's been so long. I've been told get good for so long, and I get to unironically say that people that thought the breakable weapons were a problem. You need to get good. What's up, Duchess? Thanks for the sub. Eight months. How we doing? Welcome in. Eight month subscriber. Let me know how hard you want to spin that sub wheel clockwise, counterclockwise. We'll make it happen for you. Let's see, where are we at? We almost done with this? Holy moly, he's 46. How? How? I've been going for 20 minutes. How is he only level 46? Clockwise, how hard? You pick the scale.
Make the wheel shake. You got it. All right, here's the wheel spin. Clockwise. You can sort of see it. It's right here out of the corner. That's a gotcha bun. Gotcha bun. All right, Duchess, your gotcha bun is. Read Nate's book. You get a page out of the book. Woo. All right, so we need to turn to R and Jesus. Page 80. We also need some, we need some relaxing piano music. How else are you gonna read an awful book without piano music? So for those of you that do not know the full story behind this, whenever I was 10 years old, I wrote a book. I actually wrote a trilogy, um, but I was very much 10 years old. And a 10 year old shouldn't write a book, but I did anyway. And uh, one of the things that I do here on the stream is I go back and I read one page at a time of this book and um, sometimes the pages are okay. Sometimes they're the worst thing you've ever heard in your entire life. Sometimes they're so cringe that I almost refuse to read them. But so far I've managed to read all the pages. So this is page 87. I know RNG Jesus did say page 80, but 87 was the first page that we hadn't read um, as I turned through them. So uh, this is chapter 16 of the Mirror Mural, page 87. Um, presented to you without context because to be frank there are too many characters there are too many things going on in this book to ever possibly summarize uh, in a quick uh, recap what's going on being confused is kind of the point if you've been around since the beginning of Checkpoint maybe you're starting to piece together this story but otherwise just enjoy the confusion of this moment <clears throat> page 87 of the Mirror Mural written by a 10 year old Nathan Webb chapter 16 Nolan's Ability I swear to you, Nolan cried. I don't know what you're talking about. He backed away slowly, trying to calm the monstrous native before him. I will not allow further embarrassment, the once stern-looking young boy said through clenched teeth. I may not be as strong as my brother, but I'm close. Nolan held up his gun to the beast, only to have it swatted away by the strong claw of the monster. He had to think his way out of this one. He did feel different. Perhaps he had a power like this guy, professional writer. He had thought hard of what it could be and tried to make it come out. Wham! Nolan was slammed to the side by the beast. The once young boy snarled and growled as he lunged again towards Nolan, slashing open a deep cut into Nolan's face, making him bleed horribly. Ah! Nolan screamed and ran away from the monster as quick as he could. He turned back and decided it was do or die from here on. He saw the beast jump forth and try to attack him, but as it got close, his vision turned red. Nolan assumed that it was blood in his eyes, but then realized that it could not be that since the cut had been below his eye. I felt the need to really explain that one just so you know it's not blood from the cut that just happened. Then, from out of nowhere, he lost all control. His adrenaline rushed, and his muscles bulged. He grabbed the beast by its neck and squeezed. Nolan launched, or laughed an evil laugh on the outside, but was terrified on the inside. He tried to coax his body to knock the boy out and then drop him to the ground, but he was unsuccessful. His body launched its, launched its fist into the beast and annihilated it in one punch. What just happened? Nolan finally regained control, dropped to the ground in confusion. He looked over to the woman. Her eyes had grown white, pale white. She'd not blinked for minutes now. She was in awe and fear. She slowly stood up from behind her hiding place with tears running down her face. She lost both her sons this day. Nolan felt immense pain for her and wept. Wow. Not bad. Not a bad page, except for the whole explaining the cut thing. Kudos to 10-year-old Nate. Not bad, my dear. That page could work. That page could work, you know? With enough effort, with enough intention, we might be able to make that one. We might be able to salvage that one. I'm not, no promises. No promises here, but I'm just saying there's a chance. 
All right, back over to some pocket mans. White. Hope that you enjoyed your page of the mirror mural, Duchess. Now we're gonna get back into it. The grind continueth. Would have actually been a good time for a break, um, but I'm just so ready to be done with this game. I'm so ready to be done with Pokemon White, you guys. This game, this game is the game that will never end. I try, I try so hard to end this game. Yeah, not bad, right? Not a bad page, not the worst. There are some bad ones in there, rest assured. Mirko, I doubt it. Let's look at it though. No. Right, for a 10 year old. The key that we add that. What? I don't want Mirko. Bryce Cream's evolving! Yay! You go, Bryce Cream! Yeah! Vanillax! We got the double scoop! I just want to be done. I'm tired, boy. You're darn right. See, I have that. Hang on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's here. It's here. I just want to be done. It's so quiet. I just want to be done with it. So I'm tired, so boy. Away. I'm so tired. I'm tired, boy. It. I just want to be done. I am, though. I'm so done with this game. Anymore. This game is forever long. Anymore. I don't want it. For those of you that stuck around with us yesterday and went to Trombone's um, stream, uh, I realize we've, we've played this game for 33 hours. There's so much time. And it'd be so much better if I would just grind off stream. I could do this work off stream. But to be honest, once I'm done playing this game, I'm kind of happy to be done with it. There's a crazy thing called an off button. Duchess, I have to beat this game. After 33 hours of playing it, I can't just not finish it. I'm gonna finish the game. I need it. I need to finish it, yes. Um, in case you've never seen my backlogged, I thrive off being able to add to a list that says games I've finished. It, it gives me joy. There's a Maria Kondo-esque like, satisfaction of putting a thing away that happens whenever I finish a game. And if I don't finish a game, I never get that satisfaction. I don't get enough. Ba -na -na, ba -na 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 -na. I need to finish it. Plus I love Pokemon. It's got nothing to do with a love or a dislike for Pokemon. It has everything to do with the fact that this game is just real slow. Putting it up to 4x speed has been the greatest thing I've ever done. But obviously we can't hear the delightful music if I do this the entire game. Come on, Chuck. You can't be that paralyzed, buddy. Honestly, I need to finish this game more than I want to finish it. It is, it is a true blue need to the point of that's the only reason I'm still playing. Is because of the need. The need for speed. Okay. This is my last Mon. The final Mon. Then we're going to go take on Getsus. So honestly, that's what we'll do. We will, we will finish up Zero Chill, whether, whatever happens first, whether he dies or whether we run out of power points, whichever one happens first. We'll take a three minute break, we'll come back, we're gonna take on Getsus, and maybe, just maybe, that's the end of Pokemon White. I really don't know. It could still not be over. The torture could continue. I have genuinely no idea.
Sando, are you still in the chat? You still lurking around? Um, so I was thinking about Checkathon on Friday. Are you going to be around during the Checkathon at any, any particular point? I was thinking about doing kind of like we did with the last Checkathon with Stained, where I played It Takes Two, but instead finally playing Battle Block Theater with you. If you're planning to be around at any point. So I figured while I, ha while I have you here, might as well ask. Pineapple Pope! How's it going, Pineapple? What's good? What you up to, my friend? How has your week been? We missed you with the big week off. We're back in it. Pineapple, you may be glad to know that um, we are changing up the stream schedule, so there is a pretty good chance without giving anything away. I am, I'm really working hard. I guess I can give this away. I'm working really hard to give you guys back a night stream um, because I know that the community really enjoyed those and I want to offer them back to you guys. So I know Pineapple, you were one of our most avid night stream attendees. So know that that is what will be happening. It was like Sarah scheduled a babysitter that night, but I doubt we'll be out later than 10 p.m. So I could maybe be around for the last hour. I'll ask her and get back to you. Well, I certainly do not want to mess up a date night. So you let me know and please don't feel any pressure. I absolutely would never want to mess up a date night. Worst case scenario, we just push it to the next check of You only have to wait another three months <laughs> for Battle Blog Theater. I guess we could we could potentially play it one uh, one night person. Yeah, you're kind of a night person. I know it about you, Pineapple Pope. I've learned. And if and when we add in a night stream, it will very likely be a community stream. So probably more Minecraft uh, that will return. More things like that will return. So your kind of steez should be on the up and up. I was just looking at your um, I was looking at your badges to see if you were a sub, which I knew I was pretty sure you had subscribed. And so I was looking and then I saw you actually have the one year badge. I feel like I missed that somewhere along the line, but congratulations on your one year of subscribing to Checkpoint Church. Thank you. I just got a text from my city. I just got a call from my city uh, asking for my feedback on um, their recruitment for their uh, police chief. Okay. I don't care. Looks like April was my one and a half year mark. Oh, you do have the one and a half year badge. There you go. I think that's how it goes. So you'll get a new badge pineapple at one and a half years. So yeah, you're definitely over the year mark. That's awesome. I wonder if I have to add new badges. I don't even, I think we went up to two years and we're getting close. We might be, we might be on the precipice of needing a new badge. Been streaming for a long time, folks. My knees are killing me. I need that three minute break.
Just look, it's actually 17. Oh, one month away. One month away, pineapple. That's so exciting. So I guess you and Zando were around the same time. Oops, didn't mean to run away, but I did. That's fine. What game I really miss playing, I'm not gonna lie, is Pokemon Unite. I miss it so bad. I wish it had taken off better because it was it was seriously such a good time to play. I enjoyed the heck out of that game. I think if I can just if I can just get him to level 52, I'll call it. Just get him to level 52. Should Pokemon Go? No, Pokemon Unite. I mean, I still play Pokemon Go, but Pokemon Go is a game that I play for five minutes a day, you know? Whereas Pokemon Unite, I'd play for an hour, hour and a half. I like Pokemon Go, even still. I check it pretty much every day. Unite. My son loves Unite. I really loved it. I really enjoyed it. But I, I then, I, I wasn't sweaty enough. I wasn't able to keep up with the punches. So I had to, I had to call it. Plus our community of people that played started to dwindle. And so I was like, ah, oh, fine. Fine. All right. We're gonna take a quick three minute break, stretch your legs, look away from a screen, grab a snack, do what you gotta do. This is our healthy stream habit that we do every single hour. Take a three minute break to rest, relax, and enjoy yourself for a moment. Even on the internet, it's good to take good care of our bodies. So with that, I'm gonna throw you guys to a quick intermission. Be back in three minutes. Mate, I know what you're here for. I'm the one robot that don't sound like Baby riding a spider! That it, sounds horrifying. This is going awful, and Creeper will not leave that me alone. Horrifying. Goodness gracious, that was stressful. What? Please select the file. This one, however, is very special. Choose a file that is dearest to your heart. One that shows age. Uh, I don't really have any old files on here. I don't even know what would be the oldest file. Maybe, maybe like Google would have been the first thing I downloaded. Seven, six. Yeah. Chrome.exe. <laughs> Let us place that file in a car drive or card. You didn't choose a file that was too dear, did you? For if this card dies. No, I need Chrome. No, I'm going to need Chrome. No, I'm going to need Chrome. I should have done. I would have done. I would have done Edge. I would have done Microsoft Edge! No! <laughs> Not Chrome! Not my Chrome file, I totally would have deleted Edge off of this bad boy! <laughs> oh no! You guys have got to understand that I, I literally just, I don't even know if Jefferson was a president. Great, real quickly. Ouija comes on Thursday. So we'll have Luigi before too long. Luigi! 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 We'll have it. Headed into the game. That was the same thing I said. I said I said somebody needs to make a new smash with that sound in particular. Min 90s clip music show. Number, Number seven. seven. Burger, Burger lettuce, lettuce or foot, foot lettuce. lettuce. I wish I could remember. Do I only have this amount of time left? I feel like I need to resurrect Luke, dude. Wait, no. If his name's on the tombstone, that means he's dead. Do I kill inscription? Do I kill paraspe or perspectus? <laughs> Sorry, PO3. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know where that Freudian slip came from. Long's playing for a second. Long's on stream. Exclusively Long. 
Every time we get lock on stream, we gotta, of course, do the, do the, uh... So good. It's so good. All I hear whenever people say magma is Dr. Evil saying magma. Liquid hot magma. Can't I get any sharks with laser beams on their head? Why does Way Too Dank show up on my, um, on my screen, but not on my chat? T-Money is just, like, hiding outside the... Bruh. 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 Oh, that's, oh, that's good, good in the good. microphone. <laughs> Bruh. 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 <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> yeah. All right. The final grind. I'm sure hoping, sure hoping that we're about to be done. We're going to go take on Getsis. We're going to take on Getsis. We're going to do the thing, and we're going to win, and we're going to be done. We're going to win, we're going to beat Getsis, and we're going to be done. No more. No mas. Finito. Dunzo. Maybe. Again, I really don't know if that's the end of Pokemon White or not. I have not looked it up. I refuse to spoil any plot points for myself. So I really don't know if this is the end, but I sure hope it is. Zando, do you remember about two hours ago whenever you joked about the fact that the game would be done and uh, and uh, we wouldn't have to worry about it and the credits would roll after a conversation? It did not happen, in fact. It did not pan out that way. It did throw us into another fight that has taken so long. We're going to turn it back to regular time. We're going to say bye to Spoofy. We're going to turn back on the epic fight music. So bye, Spoofy. Back to normal frame skipping. Nope, nope, nope. Wrong one. Never skip. Limit. Sound settings. Whoop. We're back. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can do it. I was wondering, I had to go and keep working on my classwork. Can I redeem a second trivia? Need to pick me up a fun class is hard. I think you probably can. I don't remember if I set it to a limit or not, but I doubt I set it to one per stream. Surely I set it up to more than one per stream. If it's down there, absolutely redeem. Be my guest. Uh-oh, I forgot to turn the camera off again. Three minutes of break. Okay, Google, set a three minute timer. You guys won't get to see my epic reaction to absolutely slaughtering Getsis. Still! Still, I can't one-hit this guy! Whatever. I am faster than him, at least. Okay. The question, Marin, for you is, in the innermost zone... Oh. Is the innermost zone in an archery target red, gold, white, or black? Is the innermost zone in an archery target red, gold, white or black it is not black no it is gold in the center that is another buckaroonie going to the carolina manga library it's all good i would have said red and i took archery Look, you're 0 for 2, but 2 for 2 on supporting somebody. Charity gets supported either way, so it's a win for a win. You said red, I would have said red as well, Sneaky. Knew it from Wii Sports? Really? Now, honestly, what's the most surprising about that to me, <laughs> Pineapple, is that Wii Sports got it right. <laughs> That's kind of the biggest shock for me now. Chuck, my boy! Seriously, homie? It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Another one? You got it, Marin. All right. Name the only heavyweight boxing champion to finish his career of 49 fights undefeated. Name the only heavyweight boxing champion to finish his career. Uh-oh. I think I just died. 
That's not, I was not paying attention. Aw, oh, man. That's no bueno. Uh, phooey. I really messed up. Um... Let's go search him. Tyson is your guess. Tyson is incorrect. It was Rocky Marciano. Marciano. I wouldn't have known that one either. Three dollars for the Carolina Manga Library. Never heard of it? Me neither. Any Rocky Marciano fans out there? Oh, come on. He definitely deserved more recoil damage than that. That's bogus. How famous can you be if you've never bit someone's ear off? Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Is it even fame if you've never bit someone's ear off? I don't think so. All right, Seismitoad. Hmm. Do I have anyone that can even take on Seismitoad? I and mean, I guess Abba Moses, he can't even touch him with half his moves, yeah? I just remembered I can turn my camera back on. Oopsie doopsie. Uh, I don't even know what to try. Let's just see how much damage Fly does. At least then I get one extra turn. The camera should be turning back on. Uh-oh. That's all the damage it did? Let's try Psychic. Yikes. And of course, of course, he's nearly a one-hit KO. That infuriates me. Why is my camera not working? Why is the camera not working? There we go. Still don't know why it's not working. Okay. By sharp, I can do. Honestly, I was thinking of Butterbean or Andre the Giant, but I think he's wrestling. Oh, yeah. It did say boxing, didn't it? All right, Chuck, surely you can take down this Bisharp in one hit. Come on, man. Surely. Still not sure how we're going to take down Hydragon. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Getting mad. Surely. Surely after two hours of, of, uh, of grinding. B-Surfer. The B server? Is there another B server without an 09 now? Is there a new B server? Babe, wake up. The new B server just dropped, dude. What's up, Harry? Don't mind the delay. Just want to make sure you saw it. Saw what? Was there another? Did you redeem another one? I did not see it if you redeemed another one. Let me know if that's what happened. Did I miss it? Did I, did I, was I faster than Hydragon? Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Name the four types of events in women's gymnastics. Name the four types of events in women's gymnastics. H-Man, now I'm all confused. <laughs> Who is this b server?
Can we do it? I really was hoping Bryce Cream would be a one hit and he wasn't and that makes me sad. But it is what it is. Can you hold on? Can you hold on, Chuck? Can you do it, buddy? Is that it? Please, tell me one vital throw. What the heck is the last Variety Tuesday? This is the last Variety Tuesday because stream schedule is changing. And this is definitely not one that will be remaining. I know. It's very upsetting. All right, let's see what moves his Electros has. Okay, good. He has no f no water moves. Acrobatics shouldn't mess with me. Flamethrower is my worst bet here. The new schedule will be announced at the Checkathon this Friday. All right, let's see. Balance beam is correct. Floor is correct. Uneven is correct. And one more. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. What if I give you a hint? I'll give you a hint. The hint is that it is five letters long. Wait a second, I'm doing a ground type move. Right? Is that right? Am I wrong? What am I doing wrong? Levitate! Why does he have levitate? Why would Electros have levitate? Alright, we're gonna try a different move then. Is bug bug is is bug nothing to electric? Bug is nothing to electric. Neither is rock, right? I got nothing. You can give it to me. It is Vault. Vault. Four for Carolina Manga Library. You were so close, too. To get three out of four. What is going on here? What's going on here is that you're still kind of wrecking me even after two hours of grinding. It's kind of making me mad. That's what's happening here. Who else do you have? Just Hydreigon at this point? No, we took down Hydreigon. Is this your last Pokemon? I think this might be his last one. Throws a temper tantrum. That's what I that's how I feel like. I think this might be his last Pokemon. I think we might be done. <sighs> deep breaths. Deep, deep breaths. Very deep. Very deep breaths. But yes, H-Man, that is a new schedule coming out uh, on Friday. Talking about the plans and the exciting things going on. We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Oh, gets us! Four to midnight on Friday, Eastern Time. Oh, uh, schedule forthcoming. What? I created Team Plasma with my own hands! I'm absolutely perfect! I am perfection! I am the perfect ruler of the perfect new world! Now in. Do you still think Pokemon and people should be separated? Gonna end the day on a losing streak? Oh no, I'm sorry, Marin! Look, you you made sure that Carolina Manga Library would get $4 a day, and thank you for that. Thanks for the fun, agreed. God bless. Hopefully see you Thursday morning, 9 to noon, for our next stream. God loves you, we love you, you matter. Since I can't become the hero and obtain the legendary Pokemon myself, I prepared someone for that purpose. In! He's nothing more than a freak without a human heart. Do you think you're going to get through to a warped person like that? Honor, it's a waste of valuable time listening to him ramble on. He's the one without a human heart. You're right. He's truly pitiful. In, I'm sure you have much to think about. I know you were not pursuing the truth because of Getsus' manipulation, but because your heart was truly inspired. 
What's up, Lukey? I'm gonna assume. What's up, Trombone? Subbing for 16 months. What's good? Full send to the left. You got it. Is that so? You can only sort of see it over here, but it's, it's, it's all I got. I might have broken it! I may have broken it. <laughs> I, I, I really, I took your full sin very seriously. It was a yellow. <laughs> oh man, this poor thing has seen better days. It's a little, a little rockety after that one. You got a gotcha bun. <laughs> all right, lurk to drive home. All good. Thanks for the follow, Loki. What's up? Welcome to Checkpoint Church, a church for nerds, geeks, and gamers. You do not have to be a Christian to be here by any stretch of the imagination. We're just here to be a positive space on Twitch. Playing games and having a good time together. All right, trivia or mystery trombone who is lurking. So don't let me forget, folks, that trombone has a trivia or a mystery, whichever one she prefers. And now we're going to get back into our closing act, hopefully, Lord willing. Is that so? What you and the legendary Pokemon are going to do from now on, that's important, wouldn't you say? Acting like you understand. Up till now, we've been fighting each other over our beliefs. But despite that, why? And even if we don't understand each other, that's not a reason to reject each other. All right, who wants to solve a mystery? First one to claim the mystery in chat, we'll get to read it. Or I could just let the whole chat solve it. That'd be more fun. Because these mysteries are so ridiculous. Anybody who wants to solve the mystery can solve the mystery. Okay. All right, here's the mystery, folks. Listen closely. Here is the mystery. A pane of glass separates an unknown man and a famous woman. The man stares at the woman for nearly three hours. Rather than get annoyed, the woman simply smiles back at him. What name is the woman commonly known by? And what city is the man visiting? A pane of glass separates an unknown man and a famous woman. The man stares at the woman for nearly three hours. Rather than get annoyed, the woman simply smiles back at him. What name is the woman known by? And what city is the man visiting? There are two sides to any argument. Is there one point of view that has all the answers? Give it some thought. Indeed, Pineapple, you nailed it. It is the Mona Lisa. He is in Paris. <laughs> I just want to talk to you about something. I think it's cool that we both wear hats. But my hat is a little bit cooler because it's kind of like a ponytail thing going on. It's about when I first met you in Accumulatown. I was shocked when I heard what your Pokemon were saying. I was shocked because what Pokemon, that Pokemon said, it liked you, like liked you, liked you. It said it wanted to be with you. This is getting weird, I know. Yep, congrats to Pineapple. I couldn't understand it. I couldn't believe there were Pokemon that liked people because up until that moment, I'd never known a Pokemon like that. Okay, wait, this game is kind of making a conflicting argument here because you're saying that no Pokemon has ever liked its trainer until we came along. That means that we definitely should be liberating the Pokemon because we have one happy Pokemon out of all the others. And that feels like not, not, not good numbers, not good numbers. The embargo on SF6 stuff has been lifted and a ton of content creators are sharing lots of new footage. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. That's awesome, Zando. The longer my journey continued, the more unsure I became. All I kept meeting were Pokemon and people who communicated with one another and helped one another. That was why I needed to confirm my beliefs by battling with you. I wanted to confront you hero to hero. I needed that more than anything. There's no way a person like me, someone who understands only Pokemon, no, actually, I didn't understand them either. No way could I measure up to you when you had met so many Pokemon and were surrounded by friends. The champion has forgiven me, and what I should do now is something I'll have to decide for myself. 
off into the sunset. Wow! Check! You said you have a dream. That dream. Make it come true. Wonderful dreams and ideals give you the power to change the world. If anyone can, it's you. Check. Well then. Farewell. <laughs> Dude, this game has had the raddest music of like any Pokemon game ever. All right, congratulations. The moment is here. Congratulations for helping me beat Pokemon White. I can't believe we did it, you guys. I can't believe we did it. Pokemon White is no more in the ads. No. <laughs> oh no, immediate ads. Just immediate ads as soon as we beat the game. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Let's see. We started we started at like 2:30 on the dot. No, 1.30 on the dot. So 2.30, 3.30, two hours added to the backlog. I mean, yeah, you're probably about right. Cynthia, I, I don't know if she's in this game. If she is, I haven't seen her yet, so she must be in the post game. If I play the post game, it will be on my own time. I cannot play more of this game. <laughs> I'm so done with Pokemon White, dude. I'm so done. If she's in it, she's in the post game, and post game will happen some other time or on my own time. This game is just bafflingly long. The story is really interesting. I mean, as far as a Pokemon game goes, definitely one of the most interesting, like, narratives. I'm very curious about Pokemon uh, Black and White 2, but I don't think I can do it right now. We'll do that one whenever I really am, like, hankering for a new Pokemon game. Um, but I simply cannot do more of it. Not now. Not here. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> Never played the second one? Well, I mean, I'm curious about how they could keep going. Like, I don't I don't know. Do they bring all the characters back? I, I, are they aged? Um, do they keep the, like, narrative threads going? Is it just that Getsis is back? Like... <laughs> How does the story work? I'm curious about that alone. But honestly, that's about it. But congratulations, all of you've earned a moment. You've all earned a moment. We did it. We beat Pokemon White together. I'm going on a trip in my favorite rocket ship. Saving. No, you're not. Love it, though. I do, I love Pokemon. I love the experience of Pokemon, but who boy, this was a long one. Something about the, something about the way the, like, something about the way the battles panned out took forever. It was so slow. Just, just heartbreakingly slow. But we did it. We did it. We beat Pokemon White. You and me. Me and you. Do you have a speed run in the backlog you can do before stream ends? What I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go update my backlog, I'm gonna add all the ranks, and then we'll just just chat for the for the last little bit. I think I'm I'm I am i i do not think I uh, am in the right headspace to even try a speed run right now. You know what? Low key. Okay, good. I was about to say low key. I'm not even totally sure if uh, with my emulator. Would have allowed it to keep playing. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing? Okay. So that's where we'll wrap it. Save state. Let's go try and rank it. Let's see where it can rank in our, uh, in our, in our backlog and everything like that. We have a quick little website gather here. I'm so small. Does it feel smaller than normal? Why is my my, my camera so tiny? This feels way smaller than it normally is. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure it's like the tiniest that I've ever been. Okay. Whoa! That was wrong.
There we go. That's better. Well, look, you have just enough time to get to the first day of the episode of Coffee Talk. Well, I am playing Coffee Talk on my own on my own time now, but I have really been enjoying it. Um, I hated that I had to hop off your stream yesterday, Trombone, but got to play it for myself. 35 hours and 10 minutes completed. Done. I said good day. No more. No more of this. Uh, all in all, I mean, I would say probably like a four. I think the thing about this game is, again, the pacing is just... It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad pacing. Uh, really just a very slow experience. Um, not my favorite Pokemon game by any means. I think your save file said 37 hours. Interesting. I wonder if I could have, like, left it. Or do you think that could have been because I sped it up, you know? Speaking of episodes, have you watched Ted Lasso yet? No, Apple TV won't let me. Tell Apple TV to get over itself and let me. No, I haven't tried again since then. Um, I am hearing good things about the newest season. I hearing that people are enjoying it. Took me five years to beat this game! Ah! <laughs> yes! Yes, it did! Yes, it did! It took so long to beat this game! All right, let's see. Is that it? Those are the only places I need to add it to? I think so. That's exactly how I feel about this game. Took me five years to complete it. All right. Where does it rank? Where does it rank in these games? It is... Probably better than Silver Case. That feels like a good... Ah, uh, versus Ib. No, it feels like a good, pretty good place. Pretty good place for it. Right below Silver Case. All right, let's see. How does it line up on our games actually beaten on stream? Um... That feels good again, right below Ib. Right below Ib. I hate to say it. I really do, I feel bad for, I feel bad for Pokemon White. I feel like I should enjoy it more than I do, but it was really, in the end, it was an okay experience, an okay game. Uh, really good, I mean, Pokemon's always gonna be pretty good, the story was pretty good, but the, the actual, like, UI was worse than I remember. Um, let's see. What are some exciting things to show you guys on back on? have going on here my stats so far for the year i'm disappointed i've only played 10 games from 2023 it's been apparently just a really slow year my digital versus physical collection is really starting to get very comparable um which i think is embarrassing because it took me years of my life to come up with my physical collection and i've only started having a digital collection for really a couple I've watched 23 games on here so far. I don't understand the favorite studios thing because I've definitely played more games, but I don't even know who Nintendo SPD production group number two is. Who is this? And I know I've played more than five Bethesda games. Maybe not. See, but then there's all these other like little, like I, I, I've probably played the Goaties. I don't understand this this selection of, uh, of backlog. I, this does make me very happy though to see at the very, very bottom, the very, very bottom of the genres that I've played is MOBA. Thank goodness. Look at that, 21 days of Vampire Survivors. You guys, I'm so obsessed. I started playing again, I'm so obsessed with stinking Vampire Survivors. I loathe it. I loathe it, but I can't stop playing it. I honestly, I don't know how to feel now that we're done with Pokemon White. I have mixed emotions. I'm kind of sad. I'm just the slightest bit sad about it. I know I've been complaining about it literally the entire stream so far, but I'm just a little sad about it. I'm a little emotional. What are we gonna do next? What Pokemon game is next for us? What, what's gonna happen on Pokemon Days? No joke, what I'm thinking about doing is doing a Zelda takeover for a little while. We gotta come up with something to do next Monday, but then every Monday after that, we can just do um, Tears of the Kingdom for a bit. Or something I've thought about doing is like 
Main Game Mondays, and that just be the day that we play like a game story together. I don't know yet. That's sort of what Thursdays have become though too, because I play games that I want to play. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Tuesdays uh, have been Variety Tuesday. And there'll probably be something different. I don't think we'll continue the Variety model. Maybe we'll bring the Variety model back if you guys really miss it. Um, that's how I typically do things at Checkpoint is I keep a tr running track of things that should come back. And so if you guys miss things and you want them again, then let me know. You already miss it. Let me know then. Keep vouching for it to return. I'm glad that you enjoy Variety Tuesdays. I, I think it's a fun model. I think the thing that's on uh, on Discord, that whole chunk of it is really fun, but it is what it is. I know what we can do. Um, don't leave. <laughs> uh, we can, you just want Pixel Puzzle League? Look, you've got to continue continue petitioning for it. That was the way to make it happen. We just had to get those votes, those precious votes. We never got them. Oh my gosh, the floor is so sticky. Let me find. So we had a video. We had a video come out last week. I'm gonna drop in the chat. If you would be so kind as to go to this video, like it, and maybe even leave a comment, that'd be really swell. Because right now we're not showing up in force, and we need to be. Um, this is the video that we put together for the West North Carolina Conference, which is the conference that hosts Checkpoint. And uh, let me show you, let me show you what we worked on here. I think it's pretty fun. I think it's a pretty fun one. So let me, this wrong. Where's YouTube? There it is. No, yes. So this is our video. Let's see if it's loud enough. Probably won't be. I'll probably turn up the audio. Hello from the digital church walls of Checkpoint Church. The church. Why is it so quiet? Nerds, geeks, and gamers in mind. My name is Nathan Webb. I'm an elder and church planner here in the. It's West also only coming out Nevada one Conference. headphone. And if you can't tell <laughs> by all the video games, Pokemon, manga, and other paraphernalia behind me. I'm also a big old nerd. Three years ago, we began planting this digital first church in order to reach the people that I called friends. Here, I'll vanish so that you guys can see the, the um, church before. Three years subtitles. Later, we've learned plenty. We've made mistakes, but most importantly, we've made a difference in the lives of thousands online. And we're not stopping anytime soon. But it's always easier for me to brag on Checkpoint. It's my baby and my thing that I've been working on for three years as a part of my calling. So I thought I would let you hear from some of our regulars about why this digital church works for them in game-changing ways. I can be me without any fear of judgment here at Checkpoint. I can be as nerdy and as geeky and as weird as I wanna be. One of the things is we get, especially as pastors, right? We, we talk about wanting our lives to reflect Jesus or living this Christian life, living as followers of Jesus. And yet somehow we all, we separate out our church life from our real life. And being a part of Checkpoint allows me to bring those two things together in a way that just no church I've been appointed to has allowed me to, to be honest. Checkpoint allows me to become more of the pastor that I needed when I was a kid. And that is, the, that is how I conceptualize my call. I want to be the pastor I needed as a teenager. And Checkpoint continues to allow me to live into myself, which allows me to live into others better. I was able to meet some people that helped me grow from a spiritual standpoint and on a personal level. And these weren't just like church people that I had to hang out with. These were people that like I wanted to hang out with, people that I wanted to connect with. I just looked around and I was like, this church is like, focused around video games this is like all i've ever wanted it turned a lot around for me like because but that was a month before i found out when i was going back to in-person school and yeah. like online school freaking sucks <laughs> i was relatively depressed by that point and i just found this community of people who was like constantly like lifting me up and 
like even with this we played my minecraft thing and it was like the only people i've ever gotten to care about that that's why i joined level two if i could help do everything I could to make it a better place, you know, why not? I got on Discord and it was like, immediately, people were super welcoming. And then I was able to swing on Twitch once in a while and, and check out what y'all were doing there. And it was like, this is just such a cool community, such a welcoming space. There's no nerd cred required. Like, despite it being a nerdy community, there was not like this need to be like, oh, well, here's all my, like, badges of honor. Like, here's all the games I've, like, 100 percent it. It was just like, oh, you're into that? Cool, let's talk about it. I think it was just the the idea of being able to create those spaces for people that I never thought really existed. In little bits and pieces, I've experienced it, but, like, never as holistically as it has been at Checkpoint. It's been, like, a year and a half, I think, since I, I stepped foot into the church and I, I loved every minute of it and we've done some really cool stuff together and i'm looking forward to doing more cool stuff together and so like just knowing that this given me that opportunity and like getting to do it with other people who are like-minded and just sort of like the goal of just doing something fun and doing it together and trying to do good i mean that's that's what it comes back to like all those the core rules it's like it's we're just trying to do good and so if that's what we're doing i'm, I'm here for it so i saw this article it might have been rethink church probably and it was talking about this nerd church and i was like hey that's pretty cool that sounds like something right up my alley i truly believe in checkpoint there's not like a status of nerddom that you have to reach um that's something that's actually been really encouraged it's like oh you just played like this one game or like nate finally got you to play danganronpa it really was just a place that i felt the presence of the spirit working in a variety of different ways though it's through the prayer request channel just reaching out and connecting with other people and just a place where i knew that i could relax i could laugh i could be stressed completely out and know that i was in a community of people would be there to support me any little reminder that we're not actually alone and that i have nate's voice in my head all the time reminding me that i matter <laughs> i brag about checkpoint so much on a weekly basis story that i tell people about checkpoint about why it has made such an impact on me personally in my walk with god is that we do church every day you essentially get to be in the Discord 24-7. I mean, we're having awesome conversations. We're roasting each other. We're praying for each other. We're learning so much about each other on a daily basis that the group quickly moves from friends to family. Mm. You don't get that anywhere else that fast. Like, it takes time to dig in. It takes time to make friends. And, and it takes a lot of work. But what I think is really cool is that Checkpoint makes it so much easier. There are no egos in, the, in, in, in this space, and which is amazing because you feel this amazing freedom to be yourself. Thanks for watching this video through to the end and hearing all the exciting stuff going on here at Checkpoint. The support of the West North Carolina Conference and the pastors and the laity and the churches within it are exactly what keep us going forward. It's because of you that we're breaking the boundaries of the internet and are reaching nerds, geeks, and gamers with our proud message that we share in literally everything that we do. We tell people potentially for the first time ever that number one, God loves them. Number two, we love them. And number three, they matter. So with that, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful, great 50 days. Bye-bye. So there you go. That's the video that we put together. I would encourage you to go and like that, share a little love with that. Uh, that way the West North Carolina Conference knows that our Checkpoint people watched it. Um, and that would be a nice little bit of encouragement. So if you would do that for me, that'd be really cool. I got to turn this down because it's so incredibly loud. I had to turn it up so high to hear the video. Plenty of our own in there, which is always cool and exciting. But yeah, we got big plans this week, folks. Big plans this week. No stream tomorrow. We will have lunch on the Discord tomorrow at noon. So be there or be square for that.
that. Um, and we will also have stream Thursday, nine to noon Eastern time, Wake with Nate. It will not be the last Wake with Nate. We'll keep Wake with Nate going into the next stream. I have not picked up Advance Wars. It's on my wish list. So I haven't figured out if I'm gonna play it or not. If that would be a stream that would be entertaining to have on, on stream, then I'll totally consider it. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna play this Thursday yet exactly. So, I mean, I'm down for whatever. If it's a fun, I'm sure it's a fun game. Um, I don't know what changes they made, if they made it more engaging or whatever, but I'm always down. If there are folks in the Discord who would want to play, that would be a super fun community game. Tell me more about that, Xando. What does that look like? Is it again? Can you play together? Can you play against each other? How do you do it? Play with up to four people? So like a co-op? Or a versus experience? Play together, taking turns. Rock on. I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, folks, with this with this shift and this change, just know that this Friday is going to have a lot of announcements. Um, we've got a lot of really exciting stuff uh, coming up. It's going to be a really exciting season at Checkpoint. We're starting a bunch of new things. We're doing a bunch of new things. Um, with this shift in schedule, is also going to ultimately allow me to have more time. So I will be able to work on more things, uh, initiate more things. We'll be able to see a lot of a lot of exciting changes happen. So. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, this is just one of the many, but Xando's making me think of it uh, because we are definitely wanting to start a start playing games more together, more behind the scenes, more stuff happening in the Discord, not just happening uh, on streams, but instead it being way more communal, way more something that we do together. So that's coming in the near future. We will be coming up with a new iteration of our Nerdy Sermon Talkbacks, if you're one that misses that. Um, so know that that's in the near future. We just have a really exciting season ahead. Yes, please suggest a raid, Trombone. What's so funny is, uh, Zando, you weren't exactly wrong. Everyone chooses their own CO in battles. It's like what I, little I've played of old Fire Emblem, only it doesn't matter if your characters die. Well, I love Fire Emblem, so that's a big that's a big win for me. And I knew that Advanced Wars, the model was similar in the sense that it's that kind of RTS-y um, experience. So, although I was fussed at recently for calling Fire Emblem an RTS, I don't know, dude. I, games are games are so funny. My friends, super awesome people who love board games and do puzzles and are just all around cool. Very cool, Trumbo, but we will absolutely raid them. We will absolutely rate Opcos games. But yeah, always good stuff going on. Folks, if you have not taken the time, um, whether you're watching right now or watching on YouTube later, be sure to join our Discord. If you're watching us live on Twitch, you can just hit exclamation Discord in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, it'll be linked down below in the comments section. Um, or you can go to Linktree slash Checkpoint Church and find any of our links and information over there. We're active on Discord uh, every single day of the week, 24-7, every hour of the day. We always have something going on in there. Um, on YouTube, we have a nerdy sermon that posts every single Sunday. Uh, fair warning, they aren't always family friendly. That's okay. That's okay. Hopefully they'll see somebody called Checkpoint Church come in and be cool. Um, but definitely a good warning to have. I'm trying to think of anything else. Stream schedule changing. Lots of new things happening. Camera dying. We're just going to let it rest. We're just going to let it rest. Honestly, that might be the that might be a good sign that it's like, hey, Nathan, it's time to end stream. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't mind an extra five minutes uh, of time to to go raid somebody and then to hopefully uh, finish things up. So, folks, we are Checkpoint Church. We're really a church. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate. I'm really a pastor here. We're gonna see if we can't get this camera to reactivate. Um, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here. Number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, we're going to go raid our new friends over at Opcost Games who are playing a jigsaw puzzle 
right now. If you would do me a favor, we believe God loves everyone. We love everyone and everyone matters. So we want to let these people know that you matter. So if you would spam that in the chat, we have two options. Um, if you followed us, then you've got the static option of you matter that I'm about to drop right there. If you subscribed, then you've got the animated you matter. If you would do me a favor, just go spam those in the chat instead of a raid message. Just let that community know that they do indeed matter. That is our way of sharing our love across the interwebs, especially on Twitch. Folks, with that, I will see you hopefully right now on Discord or back on Twitch Thursday morning, 9 a.m. Eastern time for Wake with Nate. Until then, bye-bye! Where's the remote? Oh no, where'd it go? I can't find it. This is a long